Dark Spy, and I'm here to just talk about... Well, first things first, I'm going to have to just say I'm about to just shove a few videos down you guys' throats. It's kind of like a web blast. I'm sorry for it, but it has to be done because if I don't do it, it'll be kind of like too late and stuff. So anyways, we're going to get in with topic one. Common Rider Gaim. So as you guys know, Common Rider Gaim actually just ended, and I'm going to have to just make a little review about it. So, Kamen Rider Gaim, it started out weird, it started with some dance groups and stuff, and, well, it didn't really, I mean, it roped me in, but it didn't rope me in as Wizard did, and as Kamen Rider W did, but it roped me in anyways, and I went along for the ride, and I have to say, I was really wondering where it would go, and it went to soaring heights. Oh my gosh. Crazy heights. So, I would say definitely watch it. The characters, the characters were very, very well done. The one I truly have to admire the most of how well they wrote him is Mitchy. Yes, Mitchy went from a good guy straight up to a bad guy, and then now he has to deal with himself on everything he's done he's done a lot of things if you guys need an example of being a bad guy or someone who truly is a mirror bad guy definitely go check it out the link is down below of the whole entire series Michi is wow Michi was very well done everyone grows to hate Michi I mean seriously a lot of people straight up hate Michi I can't even compare someone to Michi because it's an insult now <clears throat> given that Kota very good the whole entire story was very good it went to very interesting man I do have to admit the only downside is kind of like with K. Rogers the fact that you have to watch the movie to truly understand what's going on with a certain episode like for instance I think K. Ruger 541 I'm just saying on top of my head, it might not be the right one. It might actually be 45. I know it's in the 40s. It's where you actually have, should have seen the song of, you know, one of their movies where it actually introduced Spino. So, yeah, it's, yeah, they have one of these. So, I think it's going to continue to be like this now. So, they're going to have to incorporate a movie and incorporate a bad guy, which I think it is marvelous a great idea I mean they did that with Kamen Rider Dragon Knight 2 and actually had to incorporate the movie for a certain writer a few writers actually so yeah but anyways Kamen Rider Gaim is very very well done it was very good I enjoyed it the ending man the ending was let's see what I wrote so yeah there's lots of stuff I actually have some comparisons of some of it like for instance <clears throat> excuse me for instance they basically had Michi as if Kane and Abel and he was Kane the fact that he did something to his brother if you know biblical references you know what happened there's also the whole idea of the grapefruit they actually had had an Adam and Eve like story going on as well <clears throat> excuse me including actually having the snake involved too so it's it was really really well done I enjoyed it and the last episode it kind of made me think Michi is kind of like Vegeta if you know Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z he is basically kind of like that and it actually ended like Kamen Rider W the fact that they had an ending fight scene with the two friends <coughs> excuse me and it's like I said you need the movie to understand the last episode but the last episode is it truly needed not unless you actually want to have a better ending for Michi or Bandy ending a better ending for everyone but yeah so I would rank this actually I mean it's not Kamen Rider W, because I love Kamen Rider W. Heck, I would even, 
if someone actually told me, hey, I got Kamen Rider Wizard on DVD, you want it? I would actually say yes. I definitely will. But this one, <coughs> excuse me, this one, I would kind of say yes, but it's more in the fact of, yeah, I kind of would do it. So, yeah. So, I'd say definitely a good series. Oh, yeah, and also, I would rate this better than Kamen Rider Ryuga. Kamen Rider Ryuga have you it really spins you when it comes to the last episode and you don't really know exactly who was the victor of the whole entire yeah I can't really talk about Kamen Rider Ryuga at all but I would say this is a better series than Kamen Rider Ryuga and it actually kind of mirrors a little bit of Dragon Ball Z Boo Saga well, actually, Cell Saga and also Dragon Ball Z GT, both of the endings, especially Dragon Ball GT, with the fact of Goku has to leave, but he left Vegeta in charge of defending. So it's kind of like this: he's left Michi, kind of left Michi to defend. The only messed up part about the ending is just the fact that the guy—I don't really even know his name—but I'll say Hase's friend. He basically was fighting good, and then he got yeah, defeated. He, the funny part is that he actually was using Hase's key, seed lock, to actually fight. So I guess that's, I mean, lock seed. I meant to say lock seed. It was kind of cool, but he did get mastered, and I thought he was going to fight and defeat him. But I knew Michi had to step in and do something, because Michi had the only other buckle. And Ryuma's dead. Ryuma is dead. And they could make the seed locks again because apparently he has the blueprints, but then there's no real seeds. And I kind of counted to make sure. I think. I think her name is Miko, or I would just say Miko. She died but her buckle most likely is still okay but sadly they might have looked around and they destroyed the buckle so it's kind of like uh. also I think technically Kaito actually still has his buckle it's still on his body even though we don't really get to see it but I think he still has it so it's kind of like yeah another one but most likely they looked around made sure there's no b locks no buckles and they destroyed them all except for one but yeah I would just say yeah on that one but this is a very good series I say definitely check it out the link is down below and I am going to be back because there's a few more topics I have to talk about so I'm webbing out and I'll be back in an hour or so